Before we get started with today's video, a quick public service announcement. The KSP store accidentally uploaded the 32-bit build only of KSP 1.1. Therefore, if you downloaded it pretty quickly after the release, you need to go re-download it if you want 64-bit and all of the benefits that brings, such as a bit faster, uh, run more mods, etc, etc. Additionally, apparently Steam will default to the 32-bit version of the game. And uh, I guess there's not like an option, so you might need to actually go into the game files and manually open it up yourself instead of through Steam, which kind of stupid, but that's that. Alright, so this video is a little bit different from what I usually do, and is hopefully the first in a series of several very interesting videos. What's cool about this idea is essentially, here we have KSP 1.1, it was officially released earlier today, and uh, as you can see I've downloaded CCAN. Since there's a 64-bit build by default, or maybe not by default, but well, yeah, by default, if you have 64-bit, it's 64-bit, which means uh, we could install tons of mods with no issue. Well, not as much issues, and because the game is more optimized, I figured let's install all of them. Oh yes, and that file I had in the background, this is the hanger extender that I will use if I can't find a better version in the CCAN to work on that carrier I posted a video of yesterday. Hopefully this video is coming out tomorrow. I don't know yet. Also, this is where you get CCAN, which apparently is called Plasma Window right now, like their latest release. I don't know why, but I think that's kind of funny. Yep, the last one was called Ring Shine. Yeah, I'm just filling time while it installs, but uh, I have editing, so I don't need to do that. This one's pretty cool. Unlike you, I don't have the magic of editing. All right, looking at this list immediately, let's see, Max KSP version. Some of these look like they actually have been updated. I'm not sure exactly. I would have to check on that. But other ones, it looks like uh, they just said, oh, it'll go to here, no no worries, no problem, and it probably won't work. Yeah, see, like these 1.99.99, yeah, you don't know that. What the hell are you saying? So I'm going to try to be a bit careful with these. Basically, I've decided anything that says 1.1.0, I'm going to assume is updated, and if I think it'll be interesting, I will install it. Otherwise, I will leave it alone. Yeah, I'm sorry, this one looks funny, but I'm not doing it. I'm not going to do the historic missions either. Ooh, ISS space parts. That might be interesting. Heat shield decouplers? That'd be kind of useful. Eh, let's do it. Yes, the old parts. Well, I don't plan on streaming at the moment, but sure, let's draft Twitch viewers. Military items. Uh, okay. Jettison fuel. Yeah, that might be useful. I'm gonna leave carbonite alone for now because we have a stock resource system. Yeah, sure. Keep fit. What's the worst that could happen? Curbin side complete. Hell yeah. An in-game parts plat. Parts plurked plaque. I'm actually gonna look at the page for this one. Eh, that initial image doesn't strike me as particularly cool. Sorry. I am not sure what this is. That's interesting. So essentially this mod makes it so that you have to have costs, like constantly as you go. Oh wait, no, simulation costs. Okay, yeah, yeah, so this isn't this is so you can simulate flights rather than using like the stock revert, just uh you actually have a simulation cost based on whatever is going on there, and you can be like, oh, let me turn off the simulation. I know that it works. <laughs> simulation terminated due to lack of funds, due to cost limit reach, due to lack of science data, due to entering unknown SOI, due to landing on unknown body, etc., etc. Oh, so you can say what you intend to do with the simulation as well. I don't think I'll be using that, though. This sounds pretty cool, but I don't have that keyboard. I'm going to try the large boat parts pack modern, but not the World War II or the common. I believe the common will probably be uh, automatically loaded in. Yeah, see, it depends on it. Seriously, parody flag packs. Uh, sure, why not? Oh, Kerbal X part mapper. I definitely actually want that. Oh, Doge Dogecoin flag. Yeah, sure, why not? Mark II stock alike. I think that's a thing I've used before, and I think it's pretty cool. Pork alike Mark I parts and other low-hanging fruit. Interesting. There's also MKS Lite, which is a simpler, more forgiving version of a MKS. I might try that. Eh, looks, looks interesting. Modular rocket systems. Looks like a bunch of stuff that's pretty similar to the stock stuff. I think I can get away without it. Yeah. Okay, this is a tool that I don't need, but will help if I end up using something that needs it. Essentially, it allows a mod to modify part of the aerodynamics handling for a particular part. Nav ball up default. Definitely having that on. Essentially, it uh, allows the nav ball to be up by default in the na map view. And uh, here's another one that does the exact same thing. So, uh, I don't know which one is... Uh... This one has a funnier name, but that one's higher in the list. Even though it's a lower version. Actually, no, it's technically higher. Eh. 
It's also smaller. I feel like this entire video is just gonna be me looking at mods and installing them at this point. I'm not installing that one. Ooh, this looks interesting. Orbital Decay. This looks really interesting. Okay, definitely installing that. Otter Submersible. I think I know what this is, but I'm not sure. Yep. Sir, sure, some satellite stuff. Planet Shine is useful. Portrait Stats. That's useful. Ooh, that's interesting. Huh. <laughs> Got some pretty cool looking parts in here. I think, uh, I think, yeah, I'll, I'll take it. Yeah. I don't really care about nuclear pulse drives. Oh, I know what that is. Yeah, the project. Project Orion? No, that's that. No, nah, that's huge. I don't want that. Oh, this is one of those that I'm not sure about compatibility because it says it's compatible, but in a weird way. So I'm going to leave that off. Real launch sites. Unfortunately, they're blocking like the Imgur JavaScript stuff. I don't know why. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, so this is, of course, a Kerbal Constructs based thing, and that's interesting. Oh, wow. That's cool. Oh, yeah, there's definitely some cool stuff in here. Remote tech. I'm going to regret this decision. ScanSat. I might do. ScanSat based contracts. Probably safe. Scatterer seems to mess with my performance a bit, and I don't like the ocean shaders, honestly, because as beautiful as they are, they don't look right when you're down actually in the ocean. Sounding rockets. Potentially useful. A Kai fighter. That's a Kerbal TIE fighter. Okay, I'm gonna have to download this. SpaceX landing eggs? Yeah! Space Y stuff I'm not t terribly interested in, to be honest. This might break with the other uh, serious Kerbal business kind of thing. I, I don't know. Let's eh, let's try it. A bunch of RCS parts and some hypergolic engines. Nah. Throttle controlled avionics might come in handy. I don't really need total time. Ah, uh, see, there's there's trim. It's it's a thing for trim, but I don't really use trim, so... Ah, a tech tree that has us do unmanned stuff first. I think I might go for that, actually. And then we have a ton of USI stuff, which I'm not going to do except for, I think, the USI life support. Yeah, I'm going to go for USI life support. Oh, the pack rat rover. Yeah, I want that. I don't see why you would do this, but okay. Eh, no thanks. Oh, the waypoint manager. I think I've used the, or I haven't used it before, but I've seen it, and I think it is a really useful idea. See, for a moment, I thought this was another copy of the uh, old stock parts uh, in new KSP, but no, no, no. It's actually just like World War II rockets. And of course, wider contracts app. So, I've now selected all the mods. It's taken a fucking half hour. Hopefully that edits down to not too much. And I'm sorry if it was too much. I should have put an annotation or something to say, skip ahead. Well, not an annotation, but a thing that says skip to this time. And that time is now. Dear God. Well, hopefully nothing breaks. Now, one thing absent in all this is FS Hangar Extender, which I'm going to watch, by the way. And, of course, Bahamuto's uh, armories. Uh, and by that gibberish, I meant BD Armory. So I'm unfortunately going to have to install those manually. Well, CCAN says everything's good. What's the worst that could happen? What the... the, the, the what? The launcher has the Made with Unity splash on it now? What? I think they forgot to toggle an option. Oh, look, the patch is going to download really slow. Of course, it sped up the moment I said that. Oh yeah, we want all the terrain scatters. We want a 640 by 480. Really? That's what you want to default to? No, thank you. Fantastic. Full res. Everything awesome. The uh, volumes won't save anyhow, but I'll try turning them down anyhow. Okay, why is KSP running? Hold up, hold up. Look at this. Look at this. KSP 32-bit. Excuse you? What the fuck? I didn't tell you to do that. Oh yeah, turn to terrain detail I like to leave on default, because high is too dark for some reason. And again, it's running in 32-bit mode. Why are you doing this? And again, launching in 32-bit mode. Why the f are you ignoring my settings? What the fuck? Ah. <sighs> PSA, if you downloaded KSP 1.1 from the store at launch, you are missing the 64-bit files. Redownload it now. Ah! Seriously? Yeah, except I didn't. I didn't install that. You fuck. Also, what? I installed latest versions of everything. What do you mean there's new versions? Eh, whatever. And it's still not done loading. But you have the magic of editing, so it doesn't seem like that long to you. See, that's the only downside of doing this. It loads way faster, but uh, I added so many things, it's uh, gonna load longer. Okay, here it goes. Can we successfully load the title screen? Gonna start a sandbox, just gonna call it sandbox, gonna tell people to auto-hire and not respawn, and let's take a look at the flags, because apparently there's a lot of, I have some parody flags, I have some serious flags, I have some flags that are no doubt added by various things, we got a cat flag, USI, D-Magic, a Dogecoin flag, 
FS Cartoon Bird, FS Pilot, oh yes, Fire Spitter, Alpha Strike, whatever that was, I don't remember. I think that's something to do with the airplane parts pack, which I really liked. Uh, Panzer Labs, that's interesting. Eagle, ScanSat, bunch of default ones. Are there any others in here that are not defaults? We got a UK Space thing, we got Trippy. I think that was one of the defaults, but I'm not sure. England, England, ah. And it's got like a little dragon, it looks like. We got Debrick, which uh, I don't know. Tuxkay's Erde, Kexis, Com Completish, to Crease. Ah, Crease. Ah, get it, get it. Crease, Germania, Australia, Canada. Canada sounds correctly. Kipon, uh, Russia, Krushlin, Poland. Poland, not Poland. Not Poland, Poland. And some rounded things, rounded in KO. Wula, Strotska, uh, Artsotska? Is Artsotska in here? There's Unified Nation. There's, uh, oh god, that glitched for a split second. We have Jaeger, we got the USI flag, we got a bunch more stock ones down here. We got Insanity Arrow, we got Reaction Systems, which I believe is a stock one. I don't remember. Keener Fleet, Tuak Drivia. Oh yeah, this is cool. I think I'm going to give us, mm, yeah, research and development, because this is going to be research and development, because we're just going to see what we got. And unfortunately, it took me a really long time just to get to this point, so I'm just basically going to go into the SPH, because I always go into the SPH. Wow, there's a lot of things here, a lot of buttons. And I'm going to take a look at what we got. Draft Twitch viewers, which I uh, am not going to do right now, but uh, oh, that's cool. That's cool, because I can just take people from if I'm streaming Twitch, which I'm not doing now right now, obviously, but... Altrimity map of Kerbin. I'm gonna wait for that to go all the way to the top and see if that's like loading something or what. Is it? I don't know. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. I don't know. Well, that's interesting. We got a minimum, minimum ambient lighting. We got keep fit. We got, was this life support status, planetary logistics, colonization status. We got TAC man. Oh yeah, throttle controlled avionics. Yeah, we got uh, Kerbal Constructs, which many of the features are disabled when not in career mode. Really? I didn't know there was like features that are uh, disabled when not in career mode. This is real to where the real test is, going into an editor with those scrolling menus and tons of parts. Oh yeah, it loaded in just fine. And yes, this is indeed the space plane hangar. I just needed to see if I could drag that around. I wasn't sure. Can, it, can you close now? Thank you. We got a derp inflatable escape pod. Really? Did I? Did I install? I, I didn't realize I'd installed that. We got the Naga cockpit. I definitely want to check this out. This mod, uh, what's it called? The Prakasa Rocketry Division. They have some really interesting things. Uh, a lot of the uh, internals are kind of, uh, at least look work in progress. I hope they're work in progress because they don't look the best. But uh, they're definitely something that I think is pretty cool. And I would like to see them worked on further. And, uh, oh man, we got a plethora of parts to play with. I'd like to do like a career save with this and every episode I could start with like maybe installing new mods and uh, just kind of going over what I have and uh, small bridge. How big is it? Oh, it's actually not that big. Wow. Submarine tower, quite a bit bigger, quite a bit bigger. Oh yes, I did install the thing to get rid of the ha hanger uh, limitations. But it looks like either there's a button I have to toggle or it configure something or it's just not working because I I just tried to leave and it wouldn't let me. What's this? Uh, ooh, Chrono Vessel Viewer. Yes, that is definitely a cool thing. We got the Kerbal Engineer. We got Keep Fit again. We got... Oh, I just centered myself. Life Support. What is this one then? Is this... Is this... Oh, dear. Okay. Oh. I can't move around anymore. Like, I'm stuck to the center. Okay, that button sticks you to the center and then you're stuck there forever. Cool. And then that's the manual again for that. Launch site selector. We got the KSPD, of course. Engineer report and the notifications thingy, which tells us nothing right now. We got fuel tanks. Lots of fuel tanks. All the fuel tanks. We got this one, which is... Oh, that's a dirt fuel tank. We got, like, an old school... Old school parts somewhere. I just have to find them. Inflatable LFO tank. Various, various things. Some some stock. Several stock, of course. And uh, several not stock. Oh, hey, look. This is a cardboard tube stuffed with the... Uh, Stuff with the rocket fuel. It's uh, what is it? Sounding rockets. Sounding rockets. Plenty of little rockets here and there. What is this? And oh, oh, we got a big old Alcubierre drive. I can't say it right now. I, I really can't say. It. I also don't know where it went. Like I just pulled it out and it was just gone. And me I disconnected you. Oh, it's gonna be stuck there. Oh, you know what? I think this button that I pushed down here somehow broke everything. That's interesting. And by interesting, I mean kind of annoying. But uh, yeah, various various engines. 
Command and control. Not so much stuff in command and control. Uh, plenty of structural parts. Yeah, there's some interesting things in here. Aerodynamics. Probably, yep. Fire spitter parts. There's quite a bit in there. Utility. Utility is going to be giant. Actually, uh, not that big. I'm surprised. I would have thought there would have been more in here. I wish I had a less adjustable landing gear. I am so sad that I don't have that available yet. Uh, hopefully it comes out soon for 1.1. I really, really want it. I I miss having good wheels so bad already. I've only played in KSP 1.1 and tried to do stuff with fighters like uh, two, maybe three times now. And I miss it so, so much. But, uh, oh yes, we got the freight, the colonization, and the nothing in colonization or rovers. Interesting. I think there uh, might have been a bug with loading some of the parts. Maybe their part modules are invalid or something. I don't know. I do not want to save this. And like I said, unfortunately, that's all the time I have for now. I'm sorry this video wasn't particularly interesting. Hopefully uh, you find the concept of what I might be doing here interesting. And uh, if you have any ideas or things I could do and things to install that are not in CCAN, since uh, I'm surprised that's running really well despite me loading it full of mods. Of course, every episode that I do of this, I will load more mods in, unless there aren't any that I am uh, particularly interested in at that time. And, uh, yeah, I just realized when I was trying to move in the uh, SPH and I was thinking that it wasn't working anymore, I was hitting the wrong button. Yeah, this is what I get when I uh, record really late at night. But, yeah, I've been going for an hour already. Thanks for watching. Sorry there's not much. See you in space. And I will definitely get into space pretty soon because I will be using mod parts that are, like, space-themed and not no not as much plane-themed. There's, you know, a lot of plane stuff, too, but, uh, yeah. This time I'll, uh, this time I'll actually do a career. I promise. I promise I said lying. Uh, because I can't promise until I know for sure. But, uh, we will get to the moon at least. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure that. Unless I fail at that too. <laughs> See, he got kinda, he's kinda worried about, about that. I'm just gonna...